Support WrestleTalk! Enable notifications. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis. Two time cruiserweight champion Neville hasn't had the best week. First, he lost his title to Enzo Amore at No Mercy. Ain't that a kick in the balls? Then he conceded all right to a rematch when he beat up the certified G the following night. And now he's realized his WWE shop merchandise sucks. This atrocity is not on the Neville level. The king deserves better. Better, with a picture of one of WWE Shop's more uninspiring designs. Neville wasn't the only WWE wrestler shooting on Twitter yesterday, with SmackDown's James Ellsworth replying to one fan's hashtag Thursday Thoughts tweet. Whatever happened to your chin? Your mum kissed it so much it disappeared. Oh, burn! I'm not quite sure how that works, but he said your mum, so yeah, mega burn! A week after, uh, how many f**ks does Daniel Bryan give special? The SmackDown general manager has made yet another public tease for his wrestling return. As a quick recap on the Brian story so far, WWE reportedly rushed him into a retirement last year because of multiple concussions. But Brian loves wrestling and has undergone various tests and medical procedures to help his return to the ring. His WWE contract expires this time next year and he's teased going to both Ring of Honor and New Japan when he's free from the company. In Brie Bella's latest Q&A session on Instagram, Instagram, a fan asked the live feed why Brian's hair is getting so long, to which he replied, it may or may not be because I want to do apuestas matches in Arena Mexico. That's what he wants, and that's what he keeps telling me. Imagine a hair versus mask match versus Atlantis, or a hair versus hair versus Rush. An apuestas match, which I'm most definitely butchering the pronunciation of, translates to matches with wagers in Lucha Libre, bouts with the ultimate stakes of a wrestler's mask or hair being put on the line. Both Atlantis and Rush, who Brian references as his preferred opponents, are undefeated in these types of matches. But where Rush has only been wrestling for a decade, Atlantis started his career in 1983. Either match against the returning Brian would be absolutely huge. But Brian might not be the only person returning to wrestling. The Wrestling Observer newsletter reports there has been internal talk in WWE about bringing back former Divas champion Caitlyn, who wrestled for the company between 2010 and 2014. Caitlyn terminated her contract with WWE in January 2014, where WWE.com announced she had chosen to pursue other endeavors outside the sports entertainment world. Those other endeavors mainly being the fitness industry, where she underwent a striking body transformation from her WWE appearance to her new look on the bodybuilding scene. This might not help her chances with Vince McMahon though, as former WWE writer Kevin Eck once revealed when he pitched a romance storyline between her and Cody Rhodes. McMahon, who had made it clear on several occasions he did not find Caitlyn's muscular physique all that attractive, replied, and I'm paraphrasing, if one of the Bellas showed interest in Cody, why would he ever look at Caitlyn again? Possibly supporting Meltzer's report, Caitlyn recently posted on Instagram that she underwent wrestling training for the first first time in four years, and have forgotten how fun slash exhausting it is. But what does Vince McMahon think about Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns heading into WrestleMania? And what Shield reunion plans are in doubt? Click the videos to the left to learn more, press subscribe, and support WrestleTalk on Patreon. I've been Ollie Davis, and that was Wrestling.